A renewed effort to unlock the secrets of Gilgo Beach, the place where human remains were found in 2010 and 2011. Monica Guy has the eerie picture that could lead to a serial killer. Suffolk County's district attorney and police commissioner are hoping an unsettling picture of a belt and a new website will help solve the Gilgo Beach murders. Nine sets of human remains were found along Ocean Parkway on Gilgo Beach between 2010 and 2011. Investigators stumbled across them while searching for a missing New Jersey woman named Shannon Gilbert. She was a sex worker and went missing after a meeting with a client on Oak Beach in 2010. The website is called gilgonews.com and it features a previously unreleased picture of evidence. A black leather belt embossed with the letters HM or WH was recovered during the initial stages of this investigation. We believe that the belt was handled by the suspect and did not belong to any of the victims. For the first time, DNA evidence from three sets of unidentified remains will be shared with the FBI. The process includes uploading DNA to public genealog genealogy databases in an effort to identify possible relatives of our unidentified victims. Shannon Gilbert's late mother was an outspoken critic of the effort to resolve her daughter's case and of the investigation into the Gilgo Beach murders, primarily because the victims were sex workers. Investigators say the renewed effort is partly due to improved social media and technology making it easier to share information with the public. Former prosecutor and Chasing News panelist Bob Bianchi is encouraged. With a new set of eyes and maybe a different kind of investigative approach um, and maybe some additional information coming in from the public, uh, cases that are stubborn and, and prickly and you can't get through them sometimes get solved. Shannon Gilbert's body was found on Oak Island in 2011. She made a 911 call the night she went missing, telling the operator that she was on Oak Island and that someone was trying to kill her. Investigators have not ruled out the possibility that her death could be connected to the Gilgo Beach murders. The district attorney's office saying that new evidence will be released within the coming weeks and that tipsters are encouraged to report any information they think could help crack the case. That website, gilgonews.com. For Chasing News in Suffolk County, I'm Monica Guy.